Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, so why those? All right, so we got some shit we're about to break down tonight, all right? I told y'all I was going to bring y'all an exclusive. I didn't tell you what it was, okay? Because I wanted to make sure that my guest was ready to go, okay? Because this story is pretty damn strong. That's why I got some wine, okay? Mm -hmm, mm. So, Zul here. Now, I know you've never seen her. Very beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful woman. I love her name and everything like that. She's in Bali right now, okay? So, she's taking time. It's early in the morning over there. How, how early is it in Bali right now? Um, It's 11 a.m. right now. Oh! Okay, so maybe we were supposed to start a lot earlier. We was just on color people's time over here. So I'm thinking it's like 6 a.m. or something over there, okay? Well, thank you for joining us. I just want to let everybody know who you are. So Lamar Odom sat down with his fiance, Sabrina Farr. Am I saying her last name right or is it Parr? Yeah, Sabrina Farr. I'm not sure if she is his fiance, though, but she is definitely his girlfriend. I'm here with Bossip, hey. sitting with... Lamar Odom, Sabrina Parr, you guys got a lot of big things coming up. Now we're going into this reality show. What's the name of it? We can't, we're still undecided. It'll, okay. I thought we had made a decision and be, then he's blurred be, out. It'll be Lamar and Sabrina. What led to you guys deciding like, okay, we can put our love on display? For me, um, being okay with putting my life on display, I'm okay with that because I know people are gonna learn so much from watching how, how we, operate in the dynamic of our relationship. I, I think we want to show them what black love is really all about. Black excellence is all about. Mm -hmm. I think that's why Atlanta is perfect for us. So in our case, we have different issues, different demons. So he has to do his work. I have to do my work. We got to do work to stay together. Yeah. And we show a lot of that on the show. Now, ahead of this, like you made some changes with your team. We recently heard that you had, you know, got rid of some of your management team. Yeah. Can you tell us a little of what happened there? Um, I mean, it was just some contractual disagreements that when I um, really went over the contract, it wasn't in my favor. And um, this person was um, claimed to be like extremely close to me because of the dream she had of, about my mother and my mother telling her that to take care of her baby. And when I read the contract and thought about her having that dream, <laughs> It didn't fit, right? You know, so I just figured that it would be best to um, to cut that um, relationship off. And when I did cut it off, she proved me right because she like discontinued my IG, took down my Twitter, took down my Facebook. So that's nothing that a mother would do for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was just real easy for me to make that decision. And I wish her well. What? Come <laughs> on. I wish you her well. I wouldn't wish her. so like. What? You, like mutual. Like no, both of y'all. No, like, no, she got into her feelings. Agreed. Feelings that I didn't get into, but. Listen. Know, somebody got to be the bigger man. <laughs> Let you tell it. When I met Lamar, I just was so confused as to why certain people were in charge. Like why these people are in place. Do you even understand? how they operate, you know, it was just like, do you read any of this stuff, you know? And he just didn't have any control. And these people in his life were kind of just telling him what he was about to do, not getting approval to speak on his behalf, you know? And I was just like, this is backwards. When we were deciding the name for the reality show, and he decided I wanted to be Lamar and Sabrina, she immediately had a problem with that. And she just started going crazy. Like, why would you put her in the name of the show? And the name, the show is supposed to be about mental health. And Meanwhile, she's working with me every day. And I'm like, well, I'm in the show. <laughs> <laughs> the show is about me and him. What do you want to name it? You know, Lamar and Butterflies. Like, I don't, <laughs> you know, so that kind of just was a light that went off for me. And then she was totally disrespectful to me um, when we signed this contract. This was Lamar and I's first contract together. So we celebrated. And she was like, you have nothing to celebrate. <laughs> and I said, Look what she just texted my phone. You know, I was like, this is your girl. You know, so like that was kind of like, okay, she's tripping. Then I'm reading the contract for 
our production, you know, like we just signed like a talent agency, mm -hmm. you know, contract and her name is on it. And I'm like, well, why is your name on it? You're not a talent. You're not a part of the show. Not only is her name on it, but she's getting more money than Lamar. And so I said, listen, y'all change this now or I'm out. I'm not even doing it. I said, because I'm not mad that you want to get some money. If you have, if part of this was your idea or this is your client, cool, get some money. You should get your 15%. Right. But to get paid more than him, and then everybody's money has to come straight to you and then you distribute it how you feel like it, I'm not doing that. I need my money wired straight to me. I need to be getting close, more than you, you know, very equal to Lamar because we have an equal show and I need that change ASAP or I'm not doing it. That's that motherly love. And they quickly fixed it, you know, and I was just like, so with that contract being like that, it made me want to look into his other contracts. And so I started calling all the people he did business with, like, do you have that contract with you guys? And they were like, sure. I said, can I look at it? And then I had someone look over his contract with her and they were like, he signed this? <laughs> well, I'm no, it's I okay. Said, you don't gotta laugh at me. Oh, he did. They said, why would he sign this? This is like death. And so they started explaining to me what his and her contract says. And I said, no wonder. Like she legally does control him. Like she has an exclusive contract and like under Dutch law, you know, so. Do you mind me asking, how long were, <sighs> was this? How long did I know this lady? Yeah. Like 18 months. Why did you delete old boy's social media? What in the hell been going on these last 18 months to make you want to delete Lamar Odom's social media? You know that man trying to come up from drugs and shit? What's going on? The olive leaf extract can help detox your body in just seven days. It's like magic. The olive leaf extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Now, I want you to do something good for your health and just visit their website at www.myoliveleaf.biz. The link is located below in the description box as well as in the comments. First of all, I did not delete or destroy any of his social media platforms. And these are all false accusation. What I did do was deactivate them, suspend them temporarily because he had to pay bills and he didn't oh. want to pay bills. So I told him, you have to pay the bills. You have to pay me back for the loan. Your girlfriend needs to wire me back the money I gave her as well, you know, for shopping purposes. So the way the story has been brought on Bossip is not really how it happened. Right, so we, I, I want to talk a little bit about the facts. First of all, I want to explain why I work with Lamar Odom, okay? Because my background is not a manager. I've been, been working for 15 years all over the world, uh, producing, creating real stories about real issues. And okay. in everything I did in the past and the things that I'm doing right now, I'm trying to make an impact. I'm trying to raise awareness. So I was in China in 2018 when Lamar came to, uh, to China. We never met. And he wanted us to help him and we have a company where uh, we, we are consultants so basically if Western companies want to come to China and do business we help them we, we, we find the right partners in China right so he okay. came and he said I need to pay a bunch of money my image in the US is shitty and I need you to help me with a few things right mm -hmm. so at that time when I listened to his story and I looked at his history I'm like whoa you got an amazing story why don't you try to become a new person, a better person, and show the world that you can come back from all that stuff that you've been through, right? So let's do that. Let's create a, a true comeback story. And we okay. can contribute to the topic of mental health. So I just want to clarify and state that that's the purpose that I had with working with Lamar Odom, right? So I've, I've worked for free. You heard that right. For free, for 18 months. Oh. And I made a bunch of money in Asia. You know what I mean? So, but at, at that time in my life, I wanted to do something good with my life. I wanted to kind of make an impact and I wanted to give back. Okay. So mm -hmm. we started this whole adventure. I said, look, what do you want? And he said, like, I want to make money. I said, are you really thinking about money right now? How about your mental health? How about we get you back to basketball? How about you, you retire with dignity? How about I reconnect you with your family, with your friends? with purpose. You know okay. what I mean? I tried to explain to him that I do not believe that money and fame 
is going to make you happy because you had so much of it already and look where you are today right so that, that's okay. the reason why it worked because i want to kind of highlight that because the way they portrayed me in that Ooh, interview they, is they got not you pretty hard yeah it's not who i am it's not why i did it and that's why i want to kind of give a breakdown of my scope of work because it's a serious defamation of character which i'm suing them for for your information Oh. And all the accusations, all the accusations that I made are false. It's like, do I didn't back that up with evidence. Do they know, does Lamar Odom and his, I guess, soon to be fiance, Sabrina Parr, do they know that they're being met with a lawsuit? Oh, they, don't they don't know. They don't know. Like, today. okay, yeah. So, so I'm coming after them because they have caused some serious damages to my name, which has caused serious damage to my money and my business and people involved that don't want to be involved in this circus you know what i mean because that's what it is the only reason why i want to talk about this is because i need to show people that i do business with because the people that know me know who i am i don't need to prove anything to anyone but the people that i'm doing business with need to see this and they need to know that what they're saying is not true and that's okay. the fact <clears throat> so okay. i want to kind of start with the first thing is i worked for free there are two occasions that i have been paid by clients on the other side not by lamar Lamar has not given me a single dollar. As a matter of fact, I helped him financially out so he could pay things like his child support, debts, and whatever, rent. You know what I mean? I helped him financially. So you gave him money out of your own pocket, you, okay? Obviously, because he needs to pay you back. My personal savings. Wow. Okay. Now, now you guys have been, okay, so you guys worked together 18 months. And so I take it, when did things start to get bad like during the 18 months, because it seemed like it just, it, it was doing good. Cause Lamar, when he came on the scene, I mean, we were happy that he was sober. Um, you know, he's doing all these positive, these positive things and things like that. And then all of a sudden it, it was like, he made a comeback and you had explained to me that you were responsible for that comeback. Yeah, entirely. I mean, when I met Lamar and if you Google him, the only things that pop up is crackhead, you know, so I turned a crackhead image into a speaker a mental health advocate. That's me. That's my PR effort. Okay. Entirely. How did you do it? Well, first of all, I controlled his Instagram for 18 months. All right. So every single post in total 200, because my lawyer Steve calculated the amount of posts I've done because I want them to take that down. Those posts, <laughs> those 277 posts, mine, I wrote those for him. I, I did show him like, this is what I want to post. Are you okay with that? And I wanted him to read the comments. You know what I mean? I wanted him to believe that he can come back, to believe in himself based on the comments. That's why I posted on his Instagram. I wanted him to see a person that he could potentially become. Now I know he's not that person really, right? Because I mean, take, you know, keep in mind, I managed this guy for 18 months intensely, being connected to his children, his family, his friend, his business partners, all the people he owes money to. And mainly making sure that there was no new scandals coming out. So I was protecting him also, because if I wouldn't have done that, Lamar Odom would be trending weekly, monthly on new scandals. What? He's still at, he's still using? Well, look, he not, from what I know, he's not using drugs. Okay. But an addict, well, it, it, it's not something that disappears. What were some of those things that you said could have had him trending? every week but because of you you kind of made us uh, in your words see lamar odom in a different light for instance let's go back to that story about him being kidnapped that would take away attention from that so i tried to focus on positive projects but he did borrow money from some people and then he didn't pay them back because that's what he does how much money did he borrow? It was an amount of, I think it was six, well, it was more, but I have sent those guys personally $6,000, you know? Oh. And uh, yeah, $6,000. And at that time he was in Holland and I asked him to come to Holland because he was involved in some shooting accidents, okay? In New York, you know, that, like he came from one scandal to the other one. Like it was kind of almost every week there was something else that I had to kill. I had to make it go away, you know, because I wanted him to have a real chance at a comeback. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, this is your shitty behavior. Let's really change, okay? I'm going to fix your image. Meanwhile, you have to change. And that was the deal. Like I'm only going to make you look good 
if you're actually making the effort to change into a good person and learn from your mistakes, right? So and every time we did that and then something else happened and he falls back in his old patterns, the biggest issue I had with Lamar was he wasn't paying the people that he borrowed money from, number one. And number two, he didn't even have the intention to pay back. And for me, that is theft. If you are asking people to lend you money and you don't have any intention of paying back, that's like stealing money from people to me. I mean, that's my personal opinion, right? So that's one. And another, th another thing is that there were some women claiming that he um, was involved in some sexual activities with females and trannies, right? And those people got herpes. And that's actually also true. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I didn't want to go into those details, right? But since he went on TV and let his, well, like, let's say, gold digger girlfriend shame me on gossip, making me look like I'm some shady manager, well, I have truly, sincerely helped this man to recover, to become healthier, to have new projects, because at that point where he came to China, nobody wanted to do business with him. They didn't even want to give him a pair of shoes for free. That's how bad his image was, right? So me putting 18 months time of hard work, far away from home, putting my own financial money into this man, it's pretty disappointing that he lets her say these false things about me, which directly infected my business and image. And that's not fair. So in order for me to kind of defend myself, I have to give a breakdown of my scope of work, right? Because then people understand how, because do you know how hard it is to A, help Lamar Odom to become like a better person for real and also clean up an image that it was so bad? That's pure effort. And they're laughing at 80 months if it's nothing. But for me, 18 months is a lot of time. You know what I mean? My time is worth a lot of money. And the only reason why I decided to put it into him because I was actually thinking I was going to make a difference in the world to raise awareness on mental health. But since I see that these individuals are truly dysfunctional and don't want to change, I decided to just tell the truth and spill it all based on evidence, based on facts, based on contrary. Because you know what, Tasha, I don't do the whole I think or I feel or might. If I speak, everything is true and I can prove it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I don't want your viewers to think that, oh, she's an angry manager who got fired. By the way, I didn't get fired. Okay, they're trying to terminate my contract. And until now, it's still full force because I was not in breach of contract. They were. How were they in breach of contract? Well, number one, they took this whole thing to social media and there's a clause in my contract that they cannot do that. Number two, they made two side deals behind my back with people that I introduced them to. Oh. And it's all about this 15%. Now that gets us back to the second accusation, right? I'm making more money. Now we already know I worked for free for 18 months and I put my own money. Okay, that's a fact. Number two, I signed a deal with him two months ago, okay? Which states I am, um, um, I'm, I'm, I have the right to get 15, one, five percent from what I bring into the table and him 85, right? So how does that make, I make more money than him? Now, keep in mind that these people owe me money, right? So that's like a fact. And then they'll go and claim that I make more money. I lost a lot of money, but it's okay because I decided to do this, right? I knew the risk. I'm womaning up. Well, I can understand now why, even if, you know, if you're stating, if this is true, that he had a gambling problem and he didn't know how to manage his money and things like that. Of course, you being the responsible one, I would want the money to come to me first because Sabrina made it seem like, like why, are, why are you getting all the money and you're dispersing it to us? And being that you are basically saying that he's getting kidnapped, not paying debt, uh, things like that, he's mismanaging his money, you would want your money off top first before he goes and messes it up. And, and of course, you not knowing Sabrina, I'm just, I'm just saying hypothetically, and you not knowing Sabrina, you, you, I'm not going to trust you with my check. Well, that's, look, listen, Tasha, I've sent you my wire receipts. I was actually the one who's been responsible that his child support was getting paid for a year. You were paying the child support. I was paying the child support and the money wasn't going coming to me. It came to me on two occasions, on two deals. That's it. Like he's acting as if I was managing his money. I was not managing money. I only received two payments from two projects that I furnished, number one. And the reason I wanted to, the money to come to my account is because I wanted to make sure that his kids can eat and his rent could be paid 
and that his image stayed clean, right? So because he's, in, he's not the adult, right? He's a child. If he has money, he'll spend it in a day. That's Lamar, right? And everybody, everybody that knows him knows this. He has serious problems with his money. The Pangea Wash is made from honeysuckle and rose essential oils, is 100% natural, and doesn't dry you out down there. Don't dush, just in case your mama ain't never tell you that, because that's nasty, okay? Oh, that's nasty. Embrace Pangea Wash instead, and leave you and your yoni feeling clean, fresh, and with a balanced pH. Use the promotional code Tasha K for 10% off your first order at checkout. So I paid his child support. I wired it to the mother of his children. And matter of fact, sometimes he wasn't paying his child support and I had to find other grown men who do not even have children to pay for his child support as charity. I got other people in full to pay for the men's child support. And that's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, wow. and, and that, that, that makes it for me, I mean, I know I sound angry. I'm just so disappointed, you know, because I've done so much good for this man and his family. So be, to be portrayed as some type of shady manager or boss it. By the way, about boss it, did they once ask for any evidence? Did they once use the word allega allegedly? I'm suing them too, because they gave voice to lies that seriously has damaged me. That's defamation of character, being a co-conspiracist. So I'm not gonna let them get away with that. My lawyers are on this thing and they're going to make sure that I am being treated uh, uh, with, with, with justice, you know, because I'm not going to let people destroy my name that I worked for 15 years and I suffered for it. You know what I mean? Where I come from, I'm Moroccan, okay? And I'm an immigrant child. So I worked my ass off and I swallowed a lot of pain to be the woman that I am today. And there's absolutely no way that Sabrina Parr from Cleveland, Ohio, who I think is a very professional gold digger is going to put shame to my name. No. Let's talk about Sabrina. Okay. Cause we, we had some previous conversations and things like that. Now, uh, apparently I don't know what it is about this Kardashian curse of, you know, it just staying in the family, you know, Kylie dating Tyga, black China got a baby by Tyga. You know, it's, it's just a lot. Kim Kardashian have been with Kanye West. Fred, it's, it's just a lot. And you mentioned that Sabrina his his actual uh, girlfriend now, who he's doing a reality show with now, which you are responsible for bringing that reality show deal to the table, correct? Well, let me just go into details to that because I never proved any reality show. It was supposed to be a mental health documentary series, right? But we'll talk about that later because that's actually the real reason why this thing started into be like a problem for me. You said Sabrina slept with Tristan. Four times. And she told me that herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, ju I just had to hear it again. I just had to hear it again. Cause I'm like, did she really? Cause when you were talking, cause you were talking really fast on the phone. I was like, did she really just say that shit? So Sabrina, Sabrina, his girlfriend that is with Lamar. Lamar. I said Lamar. <laughs> that is with Lamar slept with Tristan Thompson four times. Now was this with Chloe or when he wasn't with Chloe? Now, what he was with Chloe. So here's, I'll tell you how it happened. So when Sabrina met Lamar, she was actually his assistant, right? So I was communicating with her because she needed to get things done for me in order to help Lamar. So she, she, she got herself in as an assistant, as a PA, and then she became a girlfriend. And now I guess she's also managing, you know, Lamar as a girlfriend. Anyways, so I asked her because look, I work hard to build Lamar's image, right? And I did not want to have any risks of his image being damaged by outside influences. So I asked her, give me your scandals. Like, I need to know everything because I need to be prepared for things when they come out, how to respond to those, right? That's what you do as in SPR. Yeah. So she I'm said, familiar. well, there is what she says, like, well, there's one thing that you should know. And I had a relationship with Tristan Thompson while he was with Chloe and she caught him. I'm like, oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So in my mind, I was like, so you go from Tristan Thompson to Lamar Odom. And that kind of raised red flags, if you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, hmm, motives. What is your agenda, right? I mean, I'm, am I crazy to think that? No, absolutely not. I mean, how you gonna mess with Chloe? Cl you know what? I'm starting to feel sorry for Chloe at this point, even though I shouldn't, because she done done this a few times too, fucked up the people's men's and shit. 
But at the same time, I mean, Sabrina Lamar. Now I'm starting to think he's probably still using. Does he know about this? Does Lamar know that Sabrina slept with Tristan Thompson, his ex-wife's baby daddy? Oh yeah, she knows because I told her, uh, you have to tell Lamar, but not now. So I told her just wait a, a week because he's going through this whole preparation of the mental health speaking career that I brought in for him, you know, that, that project. So let's wait a week. You're going to tell him and I'm going to be on FaceTime because I need to kind of be there to support him because, you know, at the end of the day, he's a recovering addict and I don't know how he's going to react to that stuff. So it happened. So he, she called me and I said, okay, I'm about to tell Lamar about Tristan, right? So this all happened. I was there. Like, I'm not making things up. So she told him, well, I have to tell you something. I was involved with Tristan four times while he was still with Chloe. And Chloe knows me because she actually reached out to me and we had a fight. So it's not even that Lamar knows, Chloe knows. Like, it's like all these people know, but nobody is really talking because I don't think they want the public to know about this weird relationship. Uh, connection right to each other but then uh, yeah it's pretty messed up because the thing is that when you go from Tristan and you go to Lamar and in between and during you also go in this nation and try to bash Chloe you know what I mean like oh Chloe was not uh, Lamar was not in the state of mind to be married to any woman right so that's kind of I mean, he was being married only to a woman in his life, so that's close. So, Sabrina, with you knowing, you know, um, Lamar's past and all the stuff yes. that he's been through and what have you, what made you give him a chance? I mean, because some people say, oh, I ain't dating him, uh, you know, but you gave him a chance. Sometimes pain, I think, attracts women. Like what kind of pain? The pain that I've been through. Well, that wasn't my story. I was not attracted to the pain right. and the drama. So you were empathetic or sympathetic with him? You have to meet people where they are, you know? Yeah. Like, he was never in a position to be someone's husband. You know, he was sick. He needed to heal. He needed to grieve. He experienced a lot of losses. And he never had time to go through that. So I knew with my resources and my personality and my attitude, I could help him. You yeah. know, and initially, a woman is a helpmate. Exactly. You know, so... She was made to be a helpmate exactly. for real. If mm -hmm. I'm not helping him, then I'm hurting him. You know, like, heal your mind and your heart first, and then let's see what you can become. You are a life coach. I'm hearing it. No, she is. Yeah, I'm... She's I mean, incredible. So also on this hate mission towards Chloe trying to bash her. I mean, one time, Chloe Kardashian was trying to reach Lamar, right? And she texted him on his phone. I mean, you saw the print screen, right? Yes. I sent it to you. She was reaching out, Chloe was reaching out to Lamar in July, and he was already with Sabrina. Um, and then Sabrina made him reject Chloe and say, like, I'm not interested, right? She did, she made him do that. Well, I know for a fact Lamar loves Chloe. I mean, I know that because he's been crying like a baby, asking me to help him to get both back with Chloe. And that was, I was helping him. I was helping him. I said, look, the day you become a better person, you might have another chance at being in a relationship with her because you just need to change, right? You're not a bad, bad person, but you just need to change your habits. And Sabrina knew I was helping Lamar, you know, to get back with Chloe. So I Ooh. think that's also a reason why she has a personal vendetta against me. You know, she didn't like that at all. Because I was actually, you know, helping Lamar to get back with his ex-wife. Um, so surprisingly, I would, I, I, I suspected Lamar to be like, oh shit, what's this? He said, you know what, it's even better because now I can make Chloe really jealous. Like he knew and he thought that was going to get him even closer to Chloe. I know it sounds dumb, you know what I mean? And it is dumb, but that's really, you know, what happened. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's just really the, the that's the side. That's the real side. That's the truth. It, like he knew. So, so in other words, you did not want to fuck Lamar Odom at all, like Sabrina Farr. Oh hell no! Hell, listen, you know what's funny is Lamar knows who the man is that my heart really beats for, and he knows because that man actually helped the guy to get back to basketball and been like a little brother for him. So that's why it's kind of not fair because he's not involving and hurting other people in the process, right? So Omar knows I'm not into him. And Sabrina knows too. Sabrina knows. I'm not even going to go into that because it's typically a woman that's trying to shame another woman. And that's what, you know, insecure women do. They always say, oh, she liked my man. No, I don't. <laughs> because with all the things that I know about him, I don't think any woman would be into him unless you have an agenda. 
Well, what else do you know? About who? Sabrina? About Lamar. I mean, we, we got enough about her. Because I'm telling you, I could read her spirit. When she sat there and the way she was talking about it, like, you know, I want to know what else does she got? Does she know? What else is she getting? Like, you know, she liked, I was just like, that's some real, like, you know how we say fuck boy shit? That's some real fuck girl shit. Like, for real. You know, I could tell that was that was a woman moving in to to take a position. Like she's like, well, why can't my name be a part of the reality show, bitch? We don't know you. We don't know you, huh? Tasha. I wanted this documentary series because I do not really, I don't want to insult people. I don't like reality shows. I don't like reality stars, and I like I don't like the whole energy. You know, I think. In this world, what we need now is consciousness and reality. And reality shows are not reality shows because they're all scripted, right? So we know that these are all manufactured relationships with agendas. That's why I didn't like it. The other reason why I didn't like it is because I said, Lamar, this is a cheap spin-off of Chloe and Lamar. If you guys break up, the show ends. It dies. It was also a business perspective from my end. Woo! Girl, you know your shit. You know your shit. Like, for real. Because, I mean... I mean, like, what happens if they do break up? And I'm like, I mean, given all that you do know and you've explained to us, that shit wasn't gonna last anyway. Like, for real, once the public starts to get involved in your relationship, I don't think Lamar is even ready for anything like that. I don't, I don't think he's ready, like mentally. When you come from what you've come from, being picked up off the floor in a brothel, almost losing your life, and now, you know, you, you want your wife back, and then you meet this girl, and you're trying to get the, the wife jealous, and now you want to do this reality show, he's, it's like, I mean, at any moment, this shit could crumble. Yeah, and I, I was like, Lamar, look, Sabrina is now there, right? Maybe in a month, there's another girl, and then another girl, and I told him, make the girl a part of the show, not the title of the show. I wanted Lamar to win. I wanted him to build an empire. I wanted him to build his show. I wanted his kids in the show as the main cast. That's my vision. My vision was all about showcasing how Lamar is reconnecting to his family, growing and becoming better, right? But he's not been doing all of that. That's why we have a fallout is because my vision and his vision together was, we're gonna do this recovery thing for real. And then Sabrina popped up and bam, you know what I mean? Like. So this ain't real black love between Sabrina and Lamar at all? It's not no, black. it's not black love. I'll tell you what it is. It's them trying to abuse race to get sympathy from urban platforms so, so they can grow their audience. Listen, black love my ass. Mm -hmm. If you Ooh. care about black love, you care about your children. And I can go deep into the children's stories too, but it's kind of like, we'll do that another time, right? I'll yeah, give you an update yeah, about yeah, 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 Sabrina yeah, yeah. being got, a parent and Lamar I got a whole, I got a whole bottle here, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, look, I'm African, right? I'm Moroccan. And when I see people trying to use a Moroccan or Muslim kind of thing, just for personal benefit, I'm going to speak up. It's not okay. And you're a real African. Okay. You, you're a real African. Oh, hardcore. Like, I'm from the people that were there before the invasion of the Arabs. Like, and we never Ooh. surrendered to any people. Ooh. Ever. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I just had to, so, you know. No, no, it's kind of like when people try to, you know, when people try to destroy you, you have to fight back, okay? You have to show the facts, you have to show who you are, and you have to show what you're made of. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just fighting back. I'm just defending myself. They invited all these things upon themselves because they went on gossip. They made accusation. How can you not expect that to backfire on you and knowing who am I am? Like, I'm the woman that actually turned your whole image into a positive thing. That takes a lot of effort and intelligence. Mm. You know what I mean? And I was not going to let them get away with that. I'm just trying to figure out how Sabrina, his girlfriend, going to be a life coach. And you, 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 you fucking, you know, his ex-wife, man, him. That ain't no life coach type of shit. You can't teach no bitch. You, you, what? Sabrina, the reason why I don't like her influence, because maybe she'll change. I hope for her. Life is not about the bag. Okay, life is not about the fame and the gram. Everything she does is for the gram. And it's hypocrite because I know the truth about her, right? So I get mad in general when I see people, you know, portraying themselves as being a life coach. That's a serious title. A life coach is actually a woman or a man that is trying to help other people to grow, right? But these people are not even taking care of their own lives. They don't want to be parents. As a matter of fact, I offered Sabrina to take uh, to fight for custody of her children. You know what she said? 
She said, nah, I'm fine like this. I don't want to have my kids living with me. I just want to see them whenever I can. Wait a minute, this bitch, wait a minute, this bitch ain't got her kids? She ain't got no kids. She, she's, not, she's not taking care of her children. But she's sitting on a platform and she says she wants people to look at their black love as an example. And she don't want to be a mom. She just want to look like a mom. For the How many kids does she have? To all of Dr. Sabi's followers, I've got something for y'all. You all are going to discover the untold and never before heard story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book, his right hand man, titled My Journey with Dr. Sabi. Visit www.drsabibook504.com to order your copy now. She got two. She got a 10 year old that she, by the way, just leaves in a house with a bunch of strangers smoking weed, drinking alcohol, and then she went clubbing with Lamar. I mean, that's, that's real. I can get you witnesses, you know? And then she's using her children to showcase that she's a good mom. But I know for a fact that she's a dysfunctional parent that is portraying herself on Instagram to be a good mom. Now, she, she, she's not supposed to show the public a side of her that is not true. I just don't like that. Like, if you're, you're a shitty mom, just, you know, don't talk about being a mom at all. Like, you know, leave it. And, and, and she's now uh, into a custody battle with the father of her second child, a girl, seven-year-old, and I truly hope that she's not going to get custody of that, of that child because I know how she really is, right? That's just me, my wish as a human for a child. Yeah. She literally said... She is not interested in having custody over her own children. And I offered a lawyer that I would, was willing to pay because I'm like, let's get your kids back, right? I'm like, yes, let's go. Let's do this. She was like, nah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay. You don't want to be a mom. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So let's talk about this $200 million deal that they, suppo that they supposedly have. Look, I do not believe that there is any person in this world with a right mind that want to put $200 million in Sabrina's pocket for a reality show. First of all, I know how much reality shows earn, okay? The show has not even been sold. I think what they're trying to do is make people believe they're winning in life, okay? Because a lie that's also a lie like show me because she was capping at you on the ground like she was really throwing shots at you on the ground because i think you were like putting out some stuff like here and there and she was just like you don't want to get me angry you don't want to take me there because i can get real you know what i'm saying i'm not quoting her i'm just this is kind of what i picked up when you know i kind of saw like when you were just kind of i wouldn't say you were just basically hitting like bitch don't try me and i wish they would have never tried you because i mean you went in. No, I don't. No, I don't. Fuck it. That's what we're here for. Sasha, hey, listen. If they are going to do another attempt for my defamation of character, I am going to R. Kelly his ass. Okay, you know what that means, right? Okay, I'm going to re R. Kelly you. Listen, stop. Stop lying. Stop crying crocodile towels with the public because we both know what's, re what's really up. And the, the difference between me and all these other people that couldn't showcase and expose you is like i have facts and evidence so now i see why lamar did not want to really go there in the interview i can see why now because there's a lot of shit that probably sabrina did not know and for his better you know just for him and his for the sake of his future, present and future, it was best that he just left it at that. And so when the boss of uh, interview, e, I don't know her name or whatever, she didn't really get into it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. But oh, I, I, hope she she got Sabrina, I, I hope she's got some marketing dollars because I'm suing her ass for defamation of character again. Well, I mean, they will be boss up because boss up hires her. So that's kind of how that go. I, I, I pretty much know how the sue allegations go. I don't been attempted to been sued a few times and being sued right now. So <laughs> I don't care. Somebody's got to pay for the damage that has been caused. So whoever is responsible is responsible. So no, listen, I'm only talking about 5% of what I know. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to let it there for now. 
until I see that they're going on another platform trying to spread lies about me, oh, and I'm going to give another 10%. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep doing that until they stop spreading lies. So there's, and so there's more. So there's more. Oh, yeah. Like, can, much more. Can you give us just one more thing to close this out? Just one more thing. Well, okay. So the other thing that Sabrina Parr was uh, preparing for was suing the big three, okay? And I was like, hmm. Why do you want to sue the big three? Because Lamar, Lamar had a back injury, okay? Let me, first, let me tell you the real reason why Lamar is not in the big three anymore to clear all that internet shit up. Okay, because I heard he was out of shape. He was out of shape. So what is posted and what is real, like, is, is, there's a difference, but what, what I've posted about it and what's the truth. The truth is, he was voted off the team because he was too lazy to, uh, to train with the team. Like, he didn't show up for workouts. He didn't want to play. He just want to sit there with his sunglasses, acting like he's the man again. And then the team was like, hell no, we want to win this league. We need players that want to play. So Ice Cube was right. Okay? So the, he says that he has a back injury because he played game one and he fell. That's bullshit. But Sabrina Parr, you know, his new advisor, is actually telling him, let's go and sue the big three and get a bag. You know, that's, because that's the language she uses, right? Like, let's get the bag. It's not okay. You cannot sue... Ice Cube or Jeff or whoever is behind the big three and say, you have to pay the remaining salary because I went through my back. That's like some type of shady, legal fraud, scam shit, right? And that's what she's, that, that's the shit that she does. And it's just not okay, right? So I'm already telling you, Lamar Odom did not go through his back during the game. His, her, his back was hurting before, so. And mm. oh, and Ice Cube and the big three, they can call me for if they need a witness. And I pulled my lawyers out because I was actually um, giving him my lawyer to help him. But then when I found out he was lying with his lying ass, I decided to pull out my lawyer, okay, and detach myself completely from whatever Lamar is doing under the sub supervision of Sabrina Parr because they are a bunch of idiots. One more thing. Why was he scratching his balls on national TV? Look at Lamar. Bless him. Ooh, he's itching. Ooh! Ooh! Lord. Ooh, look at his hand. Ooh. Balls your toes. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe uh, maybe he's got some STDs over there. I mean, I know that uh, Sabrina has herpes. He has herpes. So maybe that's the reason why he was scratching his balls. How do you know that? How do you know, that? How do you know Sabrina? She done been far. Her last name speaks par. It's far. How do you know Sabrina got herpes? Oh yeah, she got herpes, and Lamar has herpes too. They both got herpes, so. Well, how you know that? She told you that too? I, look, Lamar and her told me that, because actually Lamar was happy when he found out that she had herpes, because then he could, you know, have a sexual relationship without using a condom. Oh my God. And you can still catch herpes without with a condom on, God damn. Um, does Tristan and Chloe know about the herpes? Hey, listen, so I don't want to get into that shit because I'm, like, <laughs> I'm already I have moving ass. away. I have the ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, you know, to each his own. Herpes, and she had sex with Tristan, and you know, like, I don't know what who has herpes and who doesn't right now, you know, so. Oh, at least it ain't no killing disease. Let's just thank God for that. It's not. But look, it's kind of like, like, a herpes thing is, is I mean, you just asked me why you think why why i think he was scratching i'm just telling you honestly why he was I think he was that shit, boy. he was like get he was in it i was like nigga you on tv what you doing <laughs> okay well um we're gonna hold for now okay we're gonna hold for now and uh because there's some other stuff that I, I want to dwell into, but there's so much here. I want this to just marinate because this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. Um, of course, you know, I wasn't there <laughs> and for legal reasons, allegedly on my end. I wasn't there. I don't know. But, um, but wow. Wow. I'm, I'm just shocked to see that, you know, and, and you know what, to be honest with you, cause you asked me a question at the beginning, uh, before we started our session, you said, Tasha, why do you do what you do? And another thing is, you know, because he really made me under, you know, just it's, it's, it's another reason that I don't tell people, but I'm gonna tell you now. Um, I worked in PR for a little while, you know, for, for a few years. And like what you said, 
it's a lot that people don't know. There's a story posted to make it look like something else, but we know the real deal. And because I know that that's what celebrities do, that's why I do the job that I do. Because when they find out the real shit, oh, they're going to drink. They're going to smoke too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, I was okay. I we'll was learn okay. Something. We do. That's how I see it. You know, I lost a lot of money and time. But at the end of the day, my vision was actually to help this man, to help himself and become an example to many people around the world to show that you can win from addiction and you can become a better person. And we were on, good, on a good track. Um, I was posting on his social media for 18 months because I needed him to read those comments so he can feel it from the inside, right? That's why I was doing it. And at the end of the day, you know, we as people that live or work with addic addicts, you want more for them than they want for themselves. I wanted Lamar to have his empire. I wanted him to have his kids. I wanted him to have it all. But you, but you, but you didn't want, but you didn't want him at all. All right, guys, time to shout out one of my sponsors. You guys know that it's tax season, and I know you guys are going to be shopping for new and used cars. If you were smart, you would get a used car, okay? Take it from somebody that know that's in a new car right now, and I'm trying to get that shit back. Please visit the Car Marshall link below, okay? This is a site that has over 100,000 cars in stock, ready for you to choose from, and using the link below in the description box as well as in the comments, you just type in your zip code and they will do the work from there, okay? What? You didn't want him at all. You just wanted that for him. No, I wanted him to win in life as a sister. You know, he said he says that in multiple interviews that that's the relationship we had. Business, we are friends, as a sister. There was no romance between Lamar and I. Listen, I was trying to get him back with his ex-wife. What woman in her right mind would help a man to get back to the ex while you're in love with the person? It's, it's bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just women shaming other women so they can discredit their character and nobody believes them, you know, because if you say, oh, she's in love, then nobody will believe me. You know, it's kind of a strategy that she thought she could use against me, you know, but it's not working. Okay. Well, I mean, you're halfway around the country any damn way, so you ain't got time for that shit. Uh, paying, and paying his bills and child support. That's all that shit you got to assume. So that's Sabrina shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was like it was not even only child support. It was paying, you know, his stylist and you know how many people I was wiring money through PayPal, just 500 there, a thousand there, 1200 there continuously. Ooh. You know, it's like, that's the reason I was distributing his money because I was actually the one who was paying his bills. So I, sure I think, you know, when people did hear the interview, it's like, wow, like why is she taking in, you know, the money and distributing it? And now I see, it makes sense now you know, when we hear your version. And so if I were you in that position, I would do the same thing. I'm getting my check first. And then Lamar can go gamble and trick off on who he wants to, but I'm gonna make sure I get my check first. Yeah, and it, again, it happened on two occasions from the 18 months that he's been making money. Lamar didn't pay me. When he was making money, he wasn't giving me zero. The only two occasions was in the Philippines, he played basketball, he got paid 40. He took 36 himself. He gave me six. Okay. I took six from that project and I paid all the people that he wasn't paying, like trainers, you know what I mean? Like drivers, all that money that, that I made out of his project is I'm talking about $6,000. I spent more money in paying people that actually work Lamar to get where he is today. You know, I'm talking about big team of people, more than 40 It's six countries, six, you know, China, Hong Kong, Philippines, Dubai, Rotterdam, USA. I've been filming there. I've spent more than $140,000 on filming and loans. And it's about time he's going to start paying me back because I'm not going to let him screw me over like that. You know, my time is gone. Fine. But the money has to be returned well, then, uh... to me. Yeah. So look, again, um, all, all, everything we go through as people, it brings us sometimes to the second door that we have to open, you know. So based on what I've been through, based on my history with the Middle East and, and actually uh, working with people that are real victims, you know, not portrayed mm -hmm. victims for personal benefits, I decided to start a new platform, which is called the Catfish News. All right. Okay. So the Catfish News is a watchdog, global watchdog that is questioning and criticizing the influencers, influence such as Lamar, such as Sabrina. What they're saying, is that true? Or are you just trying to spread lies? So I'm going to kind of... Um, 
uh, launch that platform next week. And I've got amazing partnerships all over the world with major news outlets, NGOs, human trafficking organizations, insiders. In, like I'm connected with a lot of people in Hollywood, managers, you know, that can give me insights on stories that are being manufactured about people just to destroy. Look at Kaepernick, what happened, right? His management. Well, listen, I'm going I'm to need you to relay uh-huh. that to me first, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We got to work together. <laughs> we got to work yeah. together. <laughs> That's a hell of a website. That's a hell of a damn website and concept. God damn, yes. No, I, I, yeah, the thing is that I, I, I mean, don't forget, I've been traveling for 15 years all over the world, working with one of the most high profile people and situations, right? And some of the experiences and the knowledge and the information I have, some, some of that stuff is going to definitely be, you know, spoken about, you know, it's things that I've seen with my own eyes, suffering of women, children, uh, people doing other people wrong, just like what Sabrina Lamar is doing right now to me personally, motivate me to establish this new movement, right? You know, it's kind of very damaging to people, your tongue. If you don't know how to speak or if it's lies, zip it. Don't damage people because words are very damaging, very damaging to people in their careers. Okay, AKA never fuck with you. That's exactly what you're trying to say. Don't fuck no. with me. No. <laughs> listen, well, listen, where can they find this new website, uh, Catfish? What is it called? Well, um, it's called The Catfish News on Instagram. Uh, so okay. if people uh, search for The Catfish News, they'll find the page. It's just new. We just launched it. Um, so my team is now uh, getting everything uh, ready for the first story that we're going to break very soon. Okay. Okay. Well, I, listen, I am humbled and, and I do appreciate you coming and choosing my platform because you called me up. You know, you were being hounded by a lot of news outlets, but you wanted to talk to me because you know why? We're going to put out every goddamn thing. Okay. We're not going to, we're not going to send it to a legal department. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put it out. So I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to be talking some more here you know, so. Okay. Oh yeah, so I got a lot of, yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I might want to kind of, you know, work together with you on, on stories, but let me just say that I really appreciate that you're giving me an honest platform to speak my truth, mm-hmm. to defend mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you is because I know that you, you know, you choose facts over feelings mm-hmm. and that's what, exactly what I needed, you know? So thank you. I appreciate you a lot. Anytime, no, thank you. And the winos will thank you too. I appreciate this. And so I'm just going to do my signature outing, okay? Oh, before I do that, tell them where they can find you personally on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever you are. Oh, I am, yeah. So my IG is I am Zul, I am, and then Z O U L. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you got tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free to send me an email via Tasha K. I'm sorry, unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com. And I will personally get back to you just like I got back to Zul here. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to do my Welcome. signature outing. Now I got to go. This was some hell of wine. This was some good ass wine. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>